Hello friends. In this session, we will try to understand the concept of airflow file sensor. First, we need to understand the concept of sensor. What is sensor? They are special Python operator, special airflow operator. What is the purpose? The purpose of sensor is to wait for an event to happen. The event can be a file coming in a specific input folder path. The moment an event occurs, the sensor will send the success message and based on the success message, downstream task will get executed. Okay, so what is sensor? It is special type of Python airflow operator, which waits for an event to occur. The moment the event occur, it will allow the downstream task to execute. You can see the definition in airflow Apache org where the definition is given and more details are given. Now, let us see how we can write a simple file sensor. The simple file sensor code would be there is a input folder. It will try to read the file from this input folder. If the file is available, it will send the success message. And once the success message is given, downstream task, which would be import the file, load the file, do transformation and data preparation, other steps would get executed. If the file is not available, it will poke at predefined intervals to check whether the file is now available in this input folder. This would continue to happen till timeout occurs. If the file is available before timeout, subsequent downstream task will get executed. If file is not available in the within the timeout duration, the code will stop. Okay, how do we write the code? Let's see in our Visual Studio. Step one, you require some basic packages. So we are importing the most important here is file sensor. Now you would be reading the file from some folder. Here I have given the folder. Now you can give the folder path or you can probably give the full folder with the file name. I'm going to take the folder path. This piece of code is a dummy code uh, just to say that once the file is available, what transformation I should be doing. Here, I am just simply printing. These are once again some standard default arguments. We initiate the DAG. I have set schedule interval is equal to none. I will be manually triggering the code. Okay, this is the important part. In the DAG, I have a file sensor task and a process the file task. The sequence is wait for file, which is this task. If this task is success, the processing of the file will happen. 
So what we have written here, this is a file sensor. It is a special type of operator. I have given some task ID and I am setting the file path. I am saying that in this folder path, any CSV file is okay. If I find it, it should say success and the downstream task should get executed. In case you have the file name defined above, which I had commented this part, then you can simply make it file path. Poke interval after every 10 seconds. Once this DAG is started, it will try to poke every 10 seconds till the time the file is available in the folder. Mode, now there are two modes. One is poke, other is reschedule. In poke mode, once the DAG is running, the DAG continues to run till the file is available or timeout has occurred. Whereas if you say mode is equal to reschedule, if the file is not available, the DAG will go to, you can say hibernate state. Basically it will release the resources. The benefit of reschedule is it releases the resources for how many time period poke interval and then again the DAG will restart this continues to happen till the file is available is found or timeout has occurred what we will do we'll set for now mode is equal to poke and this is my Python operator. You can call it the downstream task because this will execute only when file sensor is successful. So this is the code. Let me save it. Now what we will do, we will go to our web UI we will see this DAG in our web UI interface. Okay, let me refresh. This is my first example on file sensor. In a later example, we will see more uh, complex example with dynamic file names. Now here, This is the graph. You can see wait for file and process file. And the folder where it is going to search. Let us navigate to that folder. This is the folder where it is going to search for CSV. Let me delete this. Delete permanently. Okay. Now there is no file in this input data folder. We will trigger the DAG. DAG has started. The execution is happening. You can see it is in running mode. Logs. It is trying to poke and find a CSP file in this folder. It is continuously poking after 10 seconds, 21, 46, 31, 46, 41. So continuously poking after every 10 seconds. Okay, what we will do, we will come here, add a file, new file. We will name it ABC data dot CSV. Now it says success criteria met exiting okay found file that is basically this piece of code
करंट वर्किंग डायरेक्टरी प्रिंट ओके दैट प्रिंट विल कम फॉर प्रोसेस फाइल लॉग एंड हियर करंट वर्किंग फोल्डर एंड प्रोसेसिंग द पाथ फ्रॉम विच इट हैज टेकन द फाइल सो यू कैन सी वंस द सी एस वी फाइल वॉज अवेलेबल द कोड executed the downstream task got executed this is how a file sensor works for code you can pause the screen type it by typing the code you practice and you learn better that's why i typically do not make the code file available thank you see in our upcoming session where i am going to take another file sensor example where the file name would be more dynamic and kindly subscribe to our channel thank you